Well, the most obvious one is the right to work. Everyone has the right to work. But a lot of older people, and this is even people over 45, and certainly people in their 50s, are really being denied the right to work. They're forced out on redundancies. And then once they try to re-enter the workforce, they face a lot of age discrimination, and many of them do not succeed. And what happens is they fall into poverty and often into uh, health problems as a result. So that's the biggest rights issue. There are other rights issues. Um, there's the issue of uh, when people are older and need care, the right to have their choices and values respected. And uh, that doesn't always happen in aged care facilities or in care in the home. It hasn't been recognised very clearly up till now. It, it's the most common form of discrimination in the workforce. It's not that we get more complaints on this issue than uh, other areas of discrimination at the Human Rights Commission, but employers say, yes, this is where we decide against people in a discriminatory way. Um, we have to stop that. But to stop it, people have to be aware that they're doing it. Sometimes it's unconscious discrimination. Sometimes employers think there's nothing wrong. They say, oh, well, you know, you'll be uh, 54, 55 soon. Um, you'll be thinking of retiring. Um, why don't you take a redundancy? Without giving that person a chance to say, what about my performance? Can I have some more training? Uh, is it possible to negotiate part-time work arrangements? I think the law could be strengthened. Um, certainly the Age Discrimination Act has got broad coverage. It also has a lot of exemptions, probably too many. For example, insurance, uh, state-based workers' compensation schemes and so on are at this stage excluded from coverage, even though we know that a lot of unnecessary age discrimination occurs there. So I think there is a case for strengthening the protections. And I am hopeful that there are two ways in which this might come about. Um, first of all, the Australian Law Reform Commission is now conducting a review of all Commonwealth policies and laws that uh, uh, provide barriers to older people continuing in the workforce. And uh, that's underway, so anyone can write in a, a submission, go to the website, email uh, uh, their views or their concerns. And I believe that, that when it does report next April, we'll have quite a lot of uh, strong recommendations for changes to Commonwealth law and policy. And then there's the consolidation exercise. The Attorney General's Department is leading uh, a review of the five anti-discrimination laws to see if they should be consolidated into one act, and in doing so, whether the standards of definitions, exemptions, best practice, whether all of those things can bring all of the provisions up to the gold standard, as we like to call it. And that, of course, if that happened, uh, that would bring the Age Discrimination Act um, to a stronger and, and clearer kind of form of protection. Yes, the impact of age discrimination on the individual, the impact is terrible, very destructive. But if you look at our whole economy, we find that there are probably about 2 million people over 55 who could be working if work were available. And in many cases it's not available because of age discrimination. Now, that's, that loss has been estimated at about $11 billion a year. Uh, that's just how much loss of the economy directly. So it's a very big issue for our national economy. I mean, to have that number, that proportion of our um, population who are able and willing to work, not working, is huge. If we had those numbers in youth unemployment, we'd, be, we'd say it was a national catastrophe. Well, it's no less a catastrophe just because people are older. Look, I think it's at the core of what we're trying to say about older people and participation, participation in the workforce, participation uh, in uh, insurance, in workers' compensation. I think we're saying that not everyone is fit for everything all the time. We understand that. 
But the mere fact that someone has reached a certain age should not of itself be the cutoff. It should be the cutoff should be when you are no longer competent to do whatever the task is, um, when you no longer have the capacity to do it, and that varies so widely. But what I can say as a generalisation is the Australian population is getting older, but it is getting healthier in older age than in the previous generation. So. What might have been justified back in the 1950s isn't justified now. Mm. Let's look at it again. 